How do cells come together to form tissues or to form organs or to form an organism? Well, we're going to explore the answer to that question in this video, where we'll be talking about cell junctions and the environments external to cells. So let's start off by talking about plant cells. Young plant cells secrete a flexible primary cell wall. This is a structure mostly made of cellulose that helps give plant cells their rigidity and their form. Now, the cell walls of various plant cells are glued together by a sticky polysaccharide called pectin, and they're glued together in an area called the middle lamella. And we can see this middle lamella here, this sort of orange goop between the cells. And remember, a lot of that goop is going to be pectin, which kind of acts like a glue binding the cells together. Now, you actually may have heard of pectin. It's something that we use in foods to give foods thickness. So uh, this is often used in like jellies, gelatin, that sort of stuff that has that nice thick consistency. Now, some plant cells, as they mature, they actually develop a secondary cell wall. And maybe kind of surprising, the secondary cell wall is actually not external to the primary one. It's actually located between the plasma membrane and the primary cell wall. So it's right in the middle there. And not every plant cell develops a secondary cell wall, just some. So you are actually probably more familiar with plant secondary cell walls than you realize. You see, things like wood are almost entirely made up of these secondary cell walls. So the secondary cell wall is an even more rigid, even sturdier structure than the primary one. Now, plant cells are also connected to each other by little pathways that we call plasmodesmata. And these plasmodesmata are literally just pores between plant cells that allow the passage of materials between the cells. Now, this means that the cytoplasm of two plant cells joined by plasmodesmata is continuous. There's no barrier there. So the cytoplasm of one cell flows seamlessly into the cytoplasm of its neighboring cell that it's connected to. It's also worth noting that the plasma membrane, which you can see here in this kind of orangish, yellowish color, the plasma membrane is continuous through plasma desmata. So not only is the cytoplasm continuous, the actual plasma membrane itself is also continuous through these plasma desmata. Now, of course, the cell wall is not. The cell wall is not continuous between the two structures as the structures are basically a channel between the membranes. Now, this continuous environment is called the symplast. So symplast is the continuous environment between plasmodesmata Now there is also of course a discontinuous environment and we call this discontinuous environment the apoplast and that's the environment of the cell walls middle lamella all that jazz all right, let's turn the page.